Alright, this is 2,000 games. As you can see, there's a lot of them. Like I said, as you can see, there's quite a few of them now on the ground. All of these games that cover my body like a blanket of warmth were valued at roughly $100,000 at their peak. Today, I'm going to be attempting to sell all these games to my local GameStop. All right, folks, it's time to sell these games to GameStop. And then we loaded up all 2,000 games in boxes and prepared to sell them to GameStop. All right, 2,000 games are officially packed. It's time to load these into my trusty locomotive Steve. GameStop in the hood, here we come. All right, hopefully we get a couple thousand dollars. And then after we finally packed all the games into my car, we were ready for takeoff. Here's the last box. We don't have enough room in the car, but we do have some room on the car. <laughs> We've loaded all the video games in the car. We got one box on top of the car, and now it's time to head off to GameStop. And as we began our long journey to a GameStop five cities over, I had something important we needed to talk about beforehand. All right, Sodi, before we sell these games, we need to talk about something a little more serious than usual. This conversation will not only impact the outcome of this video, but your entire life. Hello. All right, Sodi, so what I was getting at was, you lied to that girl on Tinder, but you ended up marrying her and now she loves you. But to get to that point, you lied to this poor girl. Was it right? I knew, walking into that, I knew that she was gonna find out the truth when we met in person. So there's just a white lie. Let me ask you this. Today, we're gonna have to tell cover story to GameStop. We're gonna have to use some low level white lies to get to where we need to get to sell all the games. The ends justify the means. Today we lie. All right, we finally made it to GameStop. We got the games in the trunk. We drove three cities over just to secure the fact that we wouldn't get kicked out instantly. Now this time around, we're gonna have to use another cover story to avoid any unnecessary suspicion with GameStop. Last time, Sodi's girlfriend made him sell all of his gaming collection to pay for her loss needs at Starbucks. This time around, my girlfriend Karen, who graduated from ASU with a social anthropology major, PhD, is making me sell my entire life's work collecting video games. For what? So her and I can both move in together in our dream apartment in suburban Chicago. The sale of these video games has caused a lot of frustration and angst in my life, but since I love Karen so much, I'm willing to do it for her. That's the story we're going to go with going into GameStop right there. And as we do, I'm going to give Sodi my phone. We're going to go in Incognito mode recording it, and hopefully we get some money out of these games. Okay. You guys do trains and whatnot, right? Okay, we have a few games. Should we start bringing them in? Okay, cool. We'll start bringing in the next games. We have a few though, a couple of boxes. All right, we just interacted with the GameStop employees. He doesn't seem too happy-go-lucky, so this should go as a simple, pure business interaction. We're gonna start churning in the games box by box, and then their real reaction and perception towards the situation should get a little more interesting and a little more serious. So we're gonna start taking out the games right now. Set them down right here, Okay, sure, we'll start stacking them up. Appreciate it. A few more boxes. I don't think the GameStop employees fully grasp the extent of the situation thus far. He'll gradually come to understand what's about to happen. Okay, we brought in roughly seven boxes thus far. This will be our eight. We're gonna leave these eight boxes as sort of the first round. And this is also they don't just straight up decline us from actually doing business with them. So once they process the eight boxes, we're gonna drop another eight boxes on them. We're gonna try to stagger this out a little bit just so we don't get instantly kicked out. Let's go for it. Would it help if we divided games by console and that sort of thing? It doesn't really matter. Okay, how can we help you guys make this like, fast? Play. I guess yeah. you can sort it by console. Okay, all right, we'll start doing that. Halo. Basically, the story is my girlfriend, Karen, she just graduated college, PhD in like social anthropology, right? Useless degree, right? Anyways, I won't rag on her about that. I love her. But she wants me to sell all my games so we can move into our dream apartment. <laughs> so it's like, Karen, what are you doing? Love has no price, I guess, right? These are kind of the moments that make me question whether or not I'm in the right relationship, you know? I love, Yeah, I respect that. Fair enough. Have you ever had anyone attempt to compel you? to liquidate your game collection. So your family actually loves you. That's what I just took from that. I'm hoping we get a couple thousand bucks out of this situation, you think? I'm gonna be honest, probably looking at somewhere in the hundreds. Karen's gonna be fuming. So this is sealed. So we need to- If it's to... sealed, we cannot take it. Even if you open it here, I still want it. Really? Okay. These have yet to be processed and this is going to be the discard. Yeah. I see, okay. Let's just start going through these again. And then mid-transaction, I met a fellow gamer who wanted to take a look at my wares. What's your name? Blake. Blake, all right, good to meet you. I'm Tyler. My girlfriend, Karen, Karen's making me liquidate my game collection. So I 
move into the dream apartment with her. So is that right? That's right. That's what she says. Yeah. I've got some cash on me too. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look then. But like. Wow. Yeah. So much stuff. Is this mostly your collection? You just All mine, yeah. Let me ask you, how much would you sell it for? All the games? Yeah. I really don't know. What do you think is like a price? I really don't know, man. To be honest, if you want to like look at these games while we're kind of doing our thing in there, 99% of these games all have their cases. Okay, There's okay. a very small I'm section. not a reseller or anything. I just, I, I have my own collection. Yeah, I respect I that. How much are you selling these games for? Yeah, I, I don't know. Heck, man, take a look. I got something for you right here, sir. 100 Hannah Montana <laughs> Spotlight World. <laughs> oh my God. No. <laughs> Away, dude. Yes, sir. Take a look. All sealed. <laughs> That's right. Take a look, my friend. Take a look oh, at all the games. Fine. Heck, man. My girlfriend Karen's just trying to get me to get rid of them. She's pulling my strings here, man. The PS4s you got. PS4 were a little scarce. I'm gonna be oh. honest. What are your guys' story? You guys play games all your life? Pretty much. Yeah. yeah I mean, I just actually recently just restart. Really? Yeah. Games yeah, for yeah, sale. Well, tell them I'm gonna pass, but thanks, yeah, buddy. no worries. Thanks I for taking a look. It. Hell yeah, sure. Good yeah. Luck to you and your oh yeah, I appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day. All right, man. Thanks for letting me look. For sure, brother. You guys want some games? I mean, pennies on the dollar. Sure. Hold on, mom. Oh yeah. Sure All right, now have a good one, bro. Enjoy the games. Yep. First sale of the day, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Any of you guys want some games? Penny on the dollar? Let me know. And then we had an unexpected buyer take us up on our offer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'll take this yeah. one. Personal yeah. favorite? Um, I have a PS2, but I've never played Ventures before. All right, we'll talk business right. later. What's a fair price, gamer to gamer? Hmm. It depends how much I have. Yeah, I mean, whatever you think is a fair price, I trust you on this. Well, you take four dollars for it. Deal. Okay. Cheers. Enjoy your lunch break. Uh, what should I look for? I'm I'm right. Right. Mark. Nah. <laughs> 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 To be honest, the amount of money you guys have given us has been pretty nice, I feel like. Just kidding, they only gave us 34 bones for all those games. And then they started to reject basically every single game I tried to sell to them. Um, yeah, so this still has to get, like, processed. So, like, seven, we gotta get out of here, basically. I would probably leave Okay, that we can totally do that. And since GameStop was gonna kick us out at 7 p.m. sharp, Sodi and I decided to filter out each and every game to help out the GameStop employees and to expedite the entire process. These are all the games that GameStop stuff has rejected so i decided to get my hustle on and sell them on the streets yo you guys trying to buy a bunch of games my girlfriend's making me sell where do you get all these games these are all yours yeah so my girlfriend karen she's putting me through the ringer here she's making me sell all my games so she wants to, us to move into our dream apartment whatever oh that means God. right love is blind they say yeah Heck. i guess it is because you're selling them. <laughs> well, after this, got... meanwhile we were racking up a hefty sum of cash in gamestop what was that 50 bucks oh, you wanted cash. 49.84 trading credit or 38.40 cash. Yes, screw it. We're gonna go cash. 38.40. Okay? Deal. And that is how many games? 49. Alrighty, thanks, sir. Appreciate it. And then this young gamer was eagerly looking at one of my games in particular, so I decided to give it to him. Hey man, you have a PS2? Yeah. You want this game? Enjoy, man. Really? Yeah, for sure. Keep it. <laughs> Yeah, for sure, buddy. Have fun. While I was trying to pawn off some games to kids who wanted them, GameStop kind of decided to screw us over. Probably be able, honestly, to knock out two more because he has to take his lunch break and we don't have the time really reserved to do this many. But if you guys want, tomorrow morning we also have coverage after 11. Okay. Looks like we've run into a bit of a major roadblock here. So they basically said that they don't have the staff to process all of our games right now. So they're going to process two, three more boxes. They probably went through roughly 33% of our total number of boxes. We're going to finish the job we started. That's one thing I know. And in the meantime, while I continue to tell the story of my beloved Karen, I got some pretty funny responses. You think Karen loves me? I don't think she does. I don't think she does either. While customers were in doubt as to how much my girlfriend really loved me, Sodi and I were filtering through all the games to help GameStop finish a little quicker, and I was trying to get rid of the games any way I could. It's all yours, man. Enjoy. Yeah, have a good one. Yeah. And after waiting for almost three hours for the customers to leave, we finally got down to business. Everyone has a reason. Just like her love. Uh, I would not do this myself. But hey, man, it's your love life. Anyways, more scrubs showed up to GameStop. I hooked the homies up, man. My treasure is your treasure now. That's nice. Cheers. You see anything that strikes your eye? My gift to you. Yeah, yeah, man. Play yeah, find a couple games, man. All those boxes yeah. too, you can take a look through. Oh, wow. Is this a PlayStation game? That is a Wii okay, game, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, 
Uh, he has a PlayStation 2. Oh, yeah, sick. We got some PS2 games in there. All right, he recommends Ace Combat there. I take his word for it. Cheers, yeah, enjoy, yeah, for sure. You, wait, you can play all these people? Yeah, I guess so. You can battle your dad. I mean, I'm an Xbox fan, but I didn't want gotcha. to like, my games. Stuff, I feel. So I got him a console that he just Heck yeah. couldn't even ask. I see, yeah. I'll play anything on PS4. I see Rainbow Six Siege. It's all you, bro. We're kind of junkyard, and I end up finding all kinds of shit like this, too. Really? Interesting. Yeah. I ended up, like, finding, like, two. Uh, 360 slims for like two really? bucks. Really? Two bucks? Dang. And they worked? <laughs> they were. They both worked. That is some good fortune, my friend. Yeah, I'm just like a kind of like collector and shit. Hey, man. It's you want some free games? Game. Take a look through the stack. For reals? Yeah, no, for reals. Free games? For Today's games, your day. Guys. Yeah, man. Take some free games, whatever you want. Wow, that's awesome. It's all you, bro. <laughs> Today's your day, brother. I know. I'm feeling extra lucky, especially seeing some of these games. Hey, he has some really good games here. We actually do, right? Some gems. I know, right? <laughs> See, man. Enjoy the games. Hey, man. I will. Sure. I, you know what? I appreciate it. Yeah, Thank you. for sure, brother. And after hours of waiting, GameStop finally processed all of my games. You done, boy. Tyler. Yes, sir. You just want cash, right? Yeah, let's go cash. Why not? You're going to get 2133, okay? You know what? Beggars can't be choosers, they say, right? Towards the beloved Karen. It's part of the job, man. Um, That's it? Tyler? Yes, sir. It was a pleasure. Thanks again. We're good to go. Like, like, Tell her I said thank you. Yeah, thanks so much. And then we interviewed the guy who had actually seen my YouTube channel who almost blew our cover in GameStop earlier. Theodore, what's going on, man? Hey, hey what's up, man? So, Theo, you walked in on us mid GameStop sale. Yes. So, what we were doing today was we were selling $100,000 worth of games to GameStop. They gave us $50. We were in there for like six hours. Oh, goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> it, it like so, what have you seen in the past? You saw a few videos. Videos or what? Okay, yeah, so the first time I seen one of Tyler's videos was I was actually just kind of searching YouTube okay. and I was I was kind of just looking at them like video games yeah. and stuff, kind of like hidden gems and everything. Gotcha. And actually, one of your videos came up and really? I checked it out and I started laughing because the first one I saw was you messaged this guy on eBay and you told him that you didn't want any duplicates or anything like that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. This and is so, the one. I got like 30 duplicates. Yeah, yeah he sent hella yeah, duplicates. Yeah. I was <laughs> laughing so hey yeah. you suck can't, you can't give a man your word and then just go back on it like that for days yeah. so that was the first video i saw okay. and then ever since then i subscribed and so really? i watch videos from here hey, on cheers appreciate that i almost fanboyed out just a little bit but you know gotta keep he kept this cool and our cover didn't get broken i'm just saying right now karen you suck how do you get rid of a man's video games exactly like that? dude <laughs> let's put it this shout out to theo bro Nah, you know what i'm not a big social media person right, honestly well, what are you i'm actually honestly just, i just enjoy life bro right? i this enjoy is nature the guy. Man of the like, year right here, Theo. And just full-time father, so. Really? I feel like that, yeah. That's my, those are my biggest responsibilities in life. Bro, right how many so, kids do you got? Uh, I have one. Okay, One recent? right now. No, no, he's he's about to be nine. Dude. Yeah, he loves video games too. So bro, I what? actually watched a video with him. Hell yeah. With me watching what what is he videos. playing? Bro, it was a pleasure. Thanks hey, for hopping on the video pleasure. real quick. No yeah. problem. Well, cheers. Y'all take care. We brought Theo our bad luck here. We struck him with a dead battery. <laughs> We're going to see if we can get out of this sticky situation here. How are the prospects looking here, Theo? Uh, it's, it's looking good. You know what you're doing, don't you? Nice little, little, great nice little situational love, irony, you know, yeah. You know what? I love stuff like this. It happens, dude. <laughs> oh! We did it! <laughs> Yay! I'm about to go get drunk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cheers, bro. <sighs> After some rigorous calculations, it appears as if GameStop only purchased 76 of the 2,000 games I brought into their store. Of these 2,000 games, they almost immediately filtered out roughly half of them because they were either too old or they no longer purchased them. So at the end of the day, of the roughly 700 games that they processed, they took almost 10% of those games, which at the end of the day calculates to roughly 70 cents per game, which to be fair isn't horrible, but it's by no means particularly good. So apparently the moral of the story is, kids, sell your games on eBay. Anyways, I'm gonna go to sleep.